you can't tell I'm smiling, because um, I'm pretty happy about it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my new vlog. Sorry guys, I have this mask on. I woke up with the nastiest, like, sore on my lip, and it's freaking disgusting. And I'm not trying to show that on, t on TV. Oh my goodness. On YouTube. Since I last recorded my last video, the one where I played Pokemon Go and went retro game hunting, I actually found the game I wanted to find. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's considered retro or not. It's from the 90s, so I guess it will be considered retro already. And, I mean, honestly, it wasn't cheap because games like the 64 games, like Nintendo 64 games, are pretty pricey right now because, like, you know, the nostalgia factor to it. I ended up paying, I believe, $60. If I could have prevented from spending that much money, I would have. So, I actually have these three games now, right? Um, honestly, I don't I think this is a very good color to have. Let's change the color real quick. We have Pokemon Stadium, the first one, which I paid, I think, $25 for. First Mario Party, which I paid $45. Mario Party 2. Um, I paid $60. 6 0 for it. Honestly, I can't be mad about the collection that I've had, I have so far for the 64. Yesterday, newest purchase up to date. I'm not sure if the system is considered retro just yet, but... I bought Mario Party 6 for the GameCube. The guy I bought it from is the same guy that sold me Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> and honestly, I can't be quite mad about it because originally he was going to be selling it for 70 I asked him if the price was going to be a firm price. And then he eventually said, oh yeah, I'll give it to you for 60 I'm like, okay, for sure, right? But I mean, you know, people are very impatient. They don't wait for people to respond. Um, so like maybe like a couple of minutes, a couple of minutes later, he decided to... Automatically sent me another message saying, I will do 50 if you want. I'm like, I was going to do 60, but hell, let's go with 50. Saving me money. Woo! So yeah, now I have Mario Party 6 for the GameCube, which is a system that I don't actually have yet. <laughs> but um, I have the Nintendo Wii, which I believe lets me play this game. Oh, uh, what the? It has scratches! I'm not sure you guys are going to be able to tell or not on it, but I mean, now it's going to be the testing of the game because, I mean, how would I know if it works or not, right, if I haven't tried it. Big, 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 big reminder, Pokemon 25th anniversary is this month, February 27th, and I cannot tell you guys how freaking excited I am for it. I even wrote it down on my, on my family whiteboard here in our kitchen yes okay save the date that's an f if you guys can tell okay that's an f if you guys are a big fan like me i'm pretty sure you guys have heard that post malone is actually going to be performing at a concert a virtual concert for pokemon which i can't be mad about because it's pokemon nice huh guys well damn i guess the wii is messed up it didn't work. <laughs> but that doesn't mean the game doesn't work, okay, guys? That means that my system, the Wii, is actually messed up. Because um, the Wii games I have currently don't work. What's up, guys? How's it going? I understand past me told you something about, I believe, not having a GameCube yet. But guess what? Good news. I actually found somebody on the app that I use. I look really dark, don't I? I found somebody selling a GameCube which is pretty cool. So now I can actually check on there if my Mario Party 6 is actually going to work or not. I'm buying the GameCube today from a guy. I'm going to go pick it up later in a little bit. Um, it's, I think, currently 7 a.m., 7 something. I'm, I'm going to be buying the GameCube. It's going to be a platinum colored one. The guy was selling it for 65 I asked him if the price was, was going to be a firm price, if it was going to be set on $70, or if we can negotiate the price. And he said the lowest he will go is 65 Hey, I saved myself $5.00. We're doing that. I also found somebody selling two games, GameCube games, Mario Kart Double Dash for the GameCube. Also, the first Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube. $15 each, one five, one five, okay, one five. Remember that number because it's gonna come up in a little bit. $15 each, which is crazy. And I asked him, okay, so if, if, if both are available, can I take both of them for $25? Try to save myself $5 right there again. He said, nah, 30. But then he sent me another message saying, 28 is fine. I'm like, all right. I guess this guy's not gonna budge, but those games are pretty pricey right now. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna say yes to him. I'm like, all right, dude. You know what? 
forget those two dollars. I'll give you. I'll give you the thirty dollars. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen is a special number today because today is actually Diego's birthday. You know, my original cameraman, my little cameraman from back in 2017. It's crazy. Four years ago, right? He was 11 years old. He was crazy. That, 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 that little kid, man. He's 15 today. Show him some love in the comments or go to my Instagram. And I believe I believe his name is. Either way, happy birthday, Diego. Hope you have a good day. Um, I hope you enjoyed your birthday present. Obviously, this is going to be coming out after your birthday. I hope you enjoyed the PS5 that your parents got you, along with Ashley, with the help of my brother, Angel. <laughs> Today, the new trading card set of Pokemon is dropping. Pokemon Shining Fates. I'm actually preparing to get rid of some of my old ones, so I can have room for them. <laughs> like, all these tens of cards right here. Right, as, you, as you guys can see right here, all these cards right here. Along with these on the little table right here, along with these mega ones, these big ones. And it's crazy because with this new set, the prices of Pokemon cards have gone up pretty, pretty high because of a man named Logan Paul, as you guys probably have heard of him. Currently, in many targets across the world, along with other stars, nobody has any in stock because Pokemon, the Pokemon company cannot keep up with the production of the cards. And it sucks. So, thankfully, with my cards today, I'm actually going to be like one of many people here in probably in the like Long Beach area that is actually beginning their tens on the day of release because like I said the Pokemon company cannot keep up with production we're gonna be getting I think I believe two tins about like around the same size as these right here right around like around the same size and two boxes like this long I think it's gonna have three packs an individual card like this there you go and like the background is gonna be like a hollow like I'll catch you guys later with that little opening if I mean if I open correctly but yeah, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Mission accomplished. I did good. We got it. We got the GameCube. I'm be very, 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 very honest with you guys. This is actually the first ever GameCube I have ever owned. Because growing up, my brother had a 64. I guess we just skipped the system. Like, we just, we, like I guess my brother didn't want that one, I guess. Or my parents decided not to get it for him. So, I don't know. Either way, we have it right here. The Platinum GameCube. Mission accomplished. We did it, guys. <laughs> it came with a game. Oh, it's kind of scratched up a little bit, too. That's probably why he sold it to me so cheap. <laughs> it's the Namco Museum. What games does it have? Does it show? No. But I can go based off of like what I know already about the games. Or about what's on this game. Now that I have the GameCube, we can check if my Mario Party 6 game works on there. Because, like I said previously it didn't work on my Wii my Wii is I guess technically broken now because my Wii games don't work on there and neither does the GameCube game I have it came with all the connections necessary the only thing it didn't come with was the game the GameCube control but it's fine I have a whole little have a whole little container full of plastic controllers <laughs> so we're good good news good freaking news the GameCube works and guess what guess what guess what look at our little homies on the TV There it is, guys. Another mission complete. We did it. More like I did it. So it works. Uh, Los Simos, we did it. Da 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 da. You know, Dora. But okay. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Also, I finished selling all my Pokemon cards that were on my bed. I got rid of everything, guys. So I'm starting fresh with this new set of cards that are gonna be coming out, and I'm excited about it. I kept a few, obviously. I'm not starting fresh, fresh. But I'm starting from the like kind of almost the beginning of everything. Oh my God! I don't have a memory card. Oh man, oh man. Alright, well at least it works. How's it going guys? So, I forgot to tell you guys about this. I think I did already, but we're gonna be opening some Pokemon cards in this vlog. So we have our uh, new Pokemon cards here. It's the Shining Fates. They're actually gonna be pretty hard to get pretty soon. I was able to pre-order two of them from this store here near my house. So we have this one with Poltegeist. It's like a little teapot. So it's called the Mad Party Pin Collection. I got two of them. I wasn't gonna get the set of four boxes of different cards. I said no, forget it. So we also have a Bundle B, which is like just a little rabbit, a little bunny. I'm gonna be careful with this card. Can you guys see it? Looks nice, right? Looks really cool. As you can see, it has like a little star on the corner. All right, so we have ourselves a pack art of Charizard, a shiny Corviknight. We also have this one, the Pulte guys. There you go, like the little Pulte guys. Oh, like, before we lose its focus, like, as you guys can see on the bottom corner right there, the bottom left corner, there's a little star. All right, we also have a Toxicity and a Dragapult. And since we have duplicates of two certain Pokemon, we're going to open this one first because 
I don't like him very much compared to Charizard. There's this thing where um, you gotta be careful on the way you open it, otherwise you mess up the card. But Frankie, hopefully, he will um, speed this up, and you guys won't have to like deal with me that much. It's a green and white, meaning I might end up getting a rare in this car in this pack. I'm not sure if, it, if there's a trick to this or not, but I'll do the one, two, three, four that there usually is. Put that to the front. All right, look at that right there. We have a Dark Energy, a Floatzel, Tropius, Gym Trainer, Cuffin, Grookey, Weasel, Yanma, a Trap Pinch, a Holographic Nicket, and a Zarude. <sighs> nothing so far, guys, nothing so far. Yeah. All right, another green and white. The green and white cards usually have a code on the back if you guys want it. Here you go. I also have this other one from the new package open. One, two, three, four card trick. Put that to the front. And you'll know you guys do it right if there's an energy card in the front. Like this one. So that's a fighting. Floatzel. A thwacky. Rotom. Snom or Snom. More Pekko with his little friends. A snubble and a rookie D in that little corner right there. I actually like that little art. Looks pretty cool. Cacnea. A Chudel. A Spinarak, a Holographic Tropius, and a Manaphy! I like that. Look at it. <laughs> Who should we open next? We already opened these two. Let's open this one. This one's calling my name. And in total, um, I have a total of six packs. I already opened three. Or gonna open three right now with this one. Look at that right there. Code card. Alright, let's do the trick again. One, two, three, four. To the front. Yeah. Alright, we got ourselves our steel. Another Floatzel. That's our third one already. A Tropius. A Ball Guy. A Choodle. Eevee. A Nicket. Horsey. A Snom. Another Ball Guy, but he's a holographic. <laughs> and a Volcanion. So far, guys, I'm having no luck. I'm kind of sad. But it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. It's alright. We've already gone through half. Okay, we're gonna leave him to the end because he looks pretty cool. We'll open this one now. Alright, we got ourselves another green green and white code card. There you go. Alright, let's do our trick real quick. One, two, three, four. I just want this to pay off, man. Especially when these are getting so expensive again. I don't got money for this, man. Alright, we got ourselves our fire energy. A Dartrix. A Cramorant. A Rusted Shield for his Amazenta. Another Horsey. Cuffint. Choodle. Yanma. Morpeko. Here comes our Holographic. A Dreadnaw. And a... A Celebi! Yo, guys, to be honest, like for it not to be anything rare, I really like the art of it. Look at that. Look how cute it is. Alright, so far, guys, I'm kind of upset. Another green and white code card. Here's the code. One, two, three, four. Okay, another fire type. Atropius. Ball guy. Rusted sword for a Zashian. Grookey. Morpeko with more of his friends. A Shuckle. And a Trumbeak. A Spinrack. Buizel. A Rowlet. The holographic coughing. And a Yon Mega. <laughs> I'm not getting anything. So far, nothing. Hopefully this right here makes everything better for me. Honestly, I wouldn't be mad at getting one of his cards. We call him Dragapult. Alright, here we go. Look at that. Another green and white code card. Alright, no mess ups. One, two, three, four. Put that to the front. Should we guess? Uh, let's go with water. <laughs> I was wrong. Okay. Got to the electric type. Eldegoth, Dartrix, a Gym Trainer, a Nicket, Weasel, a Shinx. I actually like that. Look at it. It's cool. Another coughing. A Trap Pinch looking up at the moon in the desert. A Shiny Zigzagoon, guys! Yo! Look at that, guys! Yo! And a Luxray! Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get out of here, get out of here. This right here, though, I shouldn't be so happy about this, but man, oh man! Quick recap. Let's see what we got. We didn't agree to get much, but 
Alright, I'll show you guys all the graphics I got if I could get my card out of here. So here's our Nick kit that we got. We got this Tropius. This Ball Guy. This Dreadnought, which looks pretty, like, deadly. This Celebi, I mean, it's not a holographic or anything, but it I just really like the way it looks. Look how cute it looks. We have ourselves a Coffin. That Luxray we just finished pulling. And honestly, this Galarian Zigzag Goon. Especially with my, color, with my lights, too. Makes it look really, really better. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. My goodness, I haven't done this in so long. Like and subscribe. Um, I believe there's a thing about YouTube where you gotta hit the like little bell because um, otherwise, if you don't, you won't be notified about me posting new vlogs. Although, I mean, I'm a monthly blogger, so it's gonna pro probably be like nothing new to you. So if you want, please, please hit that bell, turn the notifications on. Also, follow me on Instagram at ocmvision underscore. Also, if you guys want, follow me on Snapchat, Real Omar C. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, like and subscribe. Don't forget to share this with your friends, family, whoever. Just please get my name out there. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to slowly get into this more and more. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out from me. He's the one that actually sold me Mario Party. I mean, I'm... A moment of silence for my stupidity.